I'm Dr. Laurie. I'm here with my friend Brett. How are you doing, Brett? I'm doing all right. Where are you from? E-Town. E-Town. Not too far, right? Yes. Elizabethtown. Nice. So tell me about this. What made you say, I'm going to bring Dr. Laurie a dagger, an <laughs> edged weapon? Besides an email late Friday night, um, my grandfather brought that back from the war. Okay. Um, he told me it was off of a SS officer. Hmm. So uh, he's in World War II somewhere in the European <laughs> theater. He's mm -hmm. in Germany or France. Italy, somewhere in that neck of the woods, Germany right? Germany and France. Okay, so you know he's in Germany and France. Um, has your um, grandfather, this veteran, passed away at this point? No, he has not. God bless him. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. He will, be, he will be 93 this June. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. So he remembers this particular piece. He believes it came off an SS officer or a Nazi officer. The only things he will say about the war... And this is true of most veterans, of course, of wars, yes. They don't talk a lot about it. That's the only thing he said, and that was 20 years ago. Okay, and that's and there's not, not a lot of conversation about it. That's understandable. No. My father was in the Pacific. He didn't want to talk about it either. And I, you know, as you know, you wouldn't probably want to. Okay, so here's what you've got. You have the scabbard, and you also have the edged weapon. And let's talk a little bit about this. So, it's in beautiful condition excellent condition even and this particular piece has a lot of elements that most of us will of course recognize I'm going to pull it up that way um, first of all you're going to see of course the German nationalist symbol of the tilted or um, of the tilted of course swastika right right there and then you're also going to see markings on the blade the blade is in very nice shape pretty sharp still right have you done anything to, to the blade? I Oiled have, it or anything? I have not. Maybe you haven't done uh, anything little like WD-40. Once in a while? Yeah. The maker is right here on the blade as well, and it indicates that this particular blade was made in Solingen, Germany. Now, Solingen, Germany, this is a herder piece. Um, this particular piece made in Solingen. Let's talk a little bit about that. Solingen, Germany is one of the premier places for the production of edged weapons, particularly um, daggers, knives, even swords, if you will. So if you want to get a good, you know, if you want to get a good piece of chocolate, right, <laughs> here where I am, you know where to go. If you want to get a good edged weapon, this particular part of Germany is where you want to be, okay? okay. So this particular piece also has a couple of elements. Of course, the hand-carved ivory grip, the crossbar, um, the pommel and such, and of course this beautiful blade, all made in Solingen. This becomes extremely important because higher quality means higher value. Now we have what's called the provenance. You know the provenance, basically the history of the object, mm -hmm. right? So the history of the object comes from that particular SS officer in Germany, right, during the war, your grandfather to somebody else in the family, maybe a father or a mother, and then to you. Oh, it went right to me. It went from grandpa to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So d how did you acquire, was there a conversation? Were you always interested in history? Did he say, you're my favorite grandson, I want you to have it? What happened, Brett? They, uh, they had an office in their house up on the second floor where uh, she would, my grandmother does theorem painting, or she used to. Okay. And that was hanging on the wall forever. And, you know, as a kid being over there, I'd always play with it, like look at it, take it out. It was always, like, cool. Yeah. And mm. I guess when they downsized, he just said, do you want it? And... They remembered you liked it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's cool about it to you? Like, think back to your childhood. What was cool about it? It was a sword. It was a sword <laughs> as a kid. It was a sword. Okay. And then was it because it had, I mean, these materials, this particular portion is really quite beautiful yeah. as well as very well made. And that's one of the tips that would say, okay, this is a higher ranking person than, of course, your general infantry soldier who would have some kind of dagger just to sort of... Um, save themselves. This is going to be in use though. This isn't just a presentation piece either. Okay. So this particular piece has a market value. How much do you think it's worth? I have no idea. No idea at all? Could be no. worth a million, could be worth 10 bucks? You have an idea. What's no, your idea? Honestly, I don't. It, right now it's just something my grandfather brought back to me. No idea at all. Hmm. You couldn't put a dollar amount on it. No. If I said a million bucks. Do you want to buy it? No, I don't <laughs> buy anything. Let's talk about that. He's quick to think, oh, every appraiser is a, a buyer. If your appraiser wants to buy your object, they're not telling you the truth about how much it's worth, period, right? Because okay. if I wanted to buy it, I wouldn't tell you that it was worth a lot of money. I'd tell you oh, it's not worth that much, wouldn't I? To try to get it for a low price, right. right? But everybody thinks, oh, you're an appraiser, oh, you're doing that. Okay, your honest appraisers are not also dealing these objects. And remember, this particular piece is a piece which has a lot of value, actually, probably to the tune of about 
You have no idea? None. I keep saying you have no idea because I would think he has some idea. Because if I said it's worth a million dollars, I would think you wouldn't believe me. Now that I wouldn't believe. Right. So you do have an idea, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brett, this particular piece is worth about $1,500, wow. and others are out there. I do think it was from a, a ranking officer, if you will, but not relatively high ranking. So value on this, about $1,500, and you would, that includes about a $250 value for, of course, the matching scabbard. All right. Thanks for bringing it in. I'm very happy that it's staying in the family. It's a wonderful World War II collectible.